Sailors for the Sea as the official Clean Regattas partner to the 34th America's Cup. We've been working closely here in San Francisco with the event authority and the teams to reduce the environmental impact of the regatta both on land and on the sea. And as people attend and visit the different America's Cup sites, you will see recycling, composting facilities throughout the entire America's Cup village. In fact, there's also no single-use plastic water bottles at this event. All of the food, all the seafood is sustainably um, sourced, and you will also notice that as much as possible, all the um, waste is being diverted. We anticipate a diversion rate of 97 to 98%, meaning it's either being recycled or it's being composted in the case of, of food which is a fabulous diversion rate for an event of this magnitude over so many days with hundreds of thousands of attendees. And we're really proud to have been working so close with the America's Cup Event Authority and the uh, city and all of the vendors to ensure that this happens. There are literally hundreds of volunteers that are unseen that are making this event as clean and green as possible and reducing the impacts on the land. We hope to be able to award a platinum level clean regatta certification, meaning that the Event Authority is achieving nearly all of our best management practices to reduce their impact on land and water. We'll, we'll know more about that in the coming weeks as we get more data about what is happening on site here in San Francisco. But it is truly a low impact event from the standpoint of the seafood and the recycling and the composting. There's a lot of signage about sustainability, about composting, about recycling, and you'll see the Sailors for the Sea logo in all those sites. And that indicates their commitment to us, our commitment to the America's Cup as a partner, and the fact that we're working closely to reduce the impacts on land and sea it, uh, towards the environment.